Welcome back to Adri's Homestead Life. Today we are going to sow more seeds. We're going to sow loofah, radishes, Brussels sprouts, lots of basil and a lot more. And we are also going to put on snow princess calendula. Also some red cabbage and sander Brussels sprouts. So this is my display, what we are going to sow today, 15th of March. I've decided to sow the loofah. We are going to use homegrown, home-saved seeds as well as shop-bought because they just need that longer time to grow and mature. So I decided to grow them now in March instead of April like I usually do with all the cucurbits. We're going to sow lemongrass, petunia, broccoli, purple, early sprouting, radishes. Probably we're going to do radishes. I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to have a head start in a pot and then we're going to plant this out to the polytunnel. We're going to start on this big January King Savoy cabbage the Holland late winter cabbage and some home safe seed of parsley and we are going to sow five different varieties of basil I've got five six packages so this one is an Italian seed basil classico crimson king the purple sweet green and aroma to F1 and I've also got a holy basil so we're gonna sow those two okay I think that's it and what we are going to put on we're going to put on the calendula Brussels sprouts and the cabbage and I also want to talk to you about the progress of my peppers chilies and tomatoes I've got a little notebook for help and I did look because we've got a very good germination on peppers chilies and tomatoes so I have sown 17 varieties of tomatoes this year. We've got five cherry tomatoes and 12 the larger slices and paste tomatoes and all 17 varieties have successfully germinated and they are doing really well. I will show you when we get to the conservatory. Um, peppers and chili has been doing really well. So I have done 10 chilies varieties and 15 sweet pepper varieties so 25 out of 25 varieties 20 successfully germinated and is doing really well five didn't germinate i've still got some leftover seeds so what i have decided to do do another sowing so i've sown these again a couple of days ago so we've got the sweet hungarian yellow wax the zhichava I really would like to grow the zhichava because that was the what we made the sweet paprika powder with and it's not germinated so I was giving another go with those. Fresno chili also makes lovely uh, sweet chili sauce, what we love, so I gave that a second chance. And the sweet banana pepper and also the early jalapeno will also make lovely cowboy candy. So I sowed again these seeds and let's see what's happened. You know, some of these seeds are now quite a few year old, so the germination rate declines, but I'll give another go and we'll see what's going to happen. Before I'm going to start to get my seed compost ready, um, I've got all the labels ready here. So I'm just going to get my marker pen and I'm going to mark every single sign and get ready every single variety of every single vegetables and flowers what we are going to put on what i've not thought about and i'm gonna go and grab something what we're going to use to put these beauties on so i need three trays and we'll see probably we don't need another sign but let me grab three more trays and get these signs ready and we are ready to sew i've got all the labels ready for all the seed packets let's get sewing so what I am using, I'm using my sieved homemade compost and I'm going to add this bought vermiculite 
to it to make it a bit more aerates the soil kind of property and keep moisture better and I'm going to when I sow seeds I like to have close to that 50-50 ratio for the homemade compost and that vermiculite when I'm potting on I'm reducing that maybe to 70% compost to those 30 percent vermiculite that's my door <laughs> sun's up nice beautiful so when um, the second time i'm going to put on whatever it, if it even if it, it's a flower or vegetable then i probably i'm just going to most of it use my homemade compost so, okay, I'm using rainwater to water these spots real good. Can you hear the bell? Oh, sounds just so lovely through these glasses. Okay, I'm going to place the labels. So I'm going to do the stevia, parsley, sage, fennel, romanesco and the confetti coriander. So now I'm going to go and grab the seeds. Let's just pop this down. stevia stevia is so many times more this is actually an old seed now out of date but I'm gonna give it a go so many more times sweeter than actually the sugar and I've successfully grown stevia before but they are not that bushy and I can couldn't harvest that much what I really wanted to but these seeds are now out of date, so I try to get all or as much as I can. But I actually got two pack, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the whole lot in the, both of the packet. That's another packet I've got from Just Seed. Let's see if this is out of date. Probably because it's, <laughs> it's been packed in 2020. No mind, we're just gonna use this up now. So, I haven't got many seeds there, anyways, but just use it up, see if we can grow it. Really, really tiny seed. Okay. Now our home safe seed of parsley, although we've got parsley self seed all over the property, especially around the polyton that likes that area. So I'm never short of parsley to be honest. And it likes the cold. And this one is I'm just gonna sprinkle all over the top and we can thin this out as we want to. We do the sage. I don't think so. I did have a few sage, but my herb garden in the vegetable garden, they're not doing really well. Romanesco fennel. Here it goes. Okay, and the confetti, coriander. And we're just gonna sprinkle 
a little bit of compost and the nucleolite. Okay. Stevie has got the smallest seeds and then the parsley and then the fennel, the sage and the coriander is similar, they love round seeds. I always pat it down and check my finger, make sure there's no seed on it. Okay, I think we're good. Maybe a bit more. Let me keep light on the top. I think we're good. Give them a good soak again and they go to the conservatory and heat it propagator on a windowsill until they germinate soon they'll germinate off the heat and they'll go under the grow light okay I've got the next lot ready so next we are going to so the basil Aroma 2F1 Sweet Green I love growing basil as tea, as tincture, as culinary herb, as companion plant and you know I'm mainly cooking with it and I absolutely love the smell and taste of basil. This Crimson King, the purple one looks so cool. And more you harvest the basil, more you have. If you don't harvest enough, then they will just go to seed, what the pollinators love. And the Italian, I you know the basil's done. They got tiny, tiny black seeds. Okay, do the Holland late winter cabbage. A new seed from She Grows Wedge. And another cabbage, the Savoy January King 3. Just going to cover it up. I did look on my bees again today, they're active. I cannot wait to do the inspection, but we'll do it together. Okay, I've got the last lot. I'm gonna do some of my homegrown leafa. And some of shop board. Basil, you have been a holy basil. Never mind, got more. Uh, purple sprouting broccoli. A 
lemongrass. Got more lemongrass. I'm sure we've done lemongrass as well. Kind of a bit confused, friends. Long day. <laughs> it's not easy. This lemongrass doesn't want to come out from the packet. Honestly, I might have to do this. No, it's not coming off it. Okay, that'll do. And the uh, petunia. And we've sown all our seeds. Oh no, not yet. Radishes. I've decided to put in a module tray the radishes. And that's the petunia. Confetti mix. Oh, they got tiny, tiny seeds. Okay, tidy up nicely, put everything back. Do this little plastic container. And cover these seeds up. I'm gonna push down on this loofah. Broccoli, basil, petunia probably needs seeds to germinate to be honest. So just a little sprinkle. Okay, a bit of water and take this to the heated propagator as well. I decided to use this module tray to do the radishes and I'm gonna do about five to ten per module tray. This one's got a bit more. Okay, and just cover it up, don't need too many seeds in there, I might direct so as well. Okay, to do quicker like that because it's all the same seed. Perfect. All done. Let's do the potting on. Okay, so I'm going to start with Brussels sprouts, sander. I'm going to make the holes with my dibber in the center of the module trays. I've not watered this compost because it's so moist. So what I'm gonna do now, uh, I'm gonna take this out and find my small dibber. And push this down. And we bury it on, on, on its until this first leaf until its neck. If it's a smaller one I don't need a dibber. Oops, the sprouts. Let's see if it's successful this year friends. Last year, his plants were still the size of my uh, forearm. <laughs> oh 
there. Oh, I just broke the stem. That's no good anymore. They are very tender stems, so we need to be very careful when we handle them. These baby plants. I think I am tempting to do another tray. Okay, next I'm going to do the red cabbage. Rouge de DT something. Red cabbage. <laughs> Um, let's try to take this out of, out of here. Oops, see that? <laughs> right, so... Bury it right down as much as we can. Okay, perfect. The last one we're gonna do, Snow Princess Calendula. I am reusing these little pots all over and all over again. So let's make the hole in a Center. And place the calendula in there, like that. We're probably going to have some leftovers. That's okay. I am very curious of this snow princess calendula. I've not grown other color than orange calendula before. So that'll be very interesting to see. What's this one gonna turn out like? It's supposed to be white flowers. It'd be really pretty. Just like that, our job is done. So these are all the peppers and chilies. Just a quick update how well they all do in. I am so happy with it. You've got some more somewhere. We've got one chili there, and now we're on uh, tomatoes. So they are just starting to have their true leaves. So these little leaves in there, in the middle. And all along there, it's all tomatoes. on a windowsill and we have got some more peppers in here the true leaves beautifully coming through that's the setup I have and when it gets about 6, 7 o'clock sometimes later, it depends when I've got time I move all these plants, peppers, chilies and tomatoes and the rest from the windowsill under the grow light here behind me and I'll turn the light on for overnight and turn it off in the morning put them back on a windowsill I'm constantly moving them around so I try to give them as much light as possible 
Obviously, the best light would be in a greenhouse and outside, but it's too cold. It's only 15th of March. So we've got two more months to go before I can put peppers, chilies and tomatoes out. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me, sowing all these lovely seeds and putting on the lovely plants. And see you very soon. Bye, friends.